Um, my kind of same thing. Compare this championship to the 2015 one. Uh, I think Coach did it best. Uh, that one was a turning point in our in our school history uh, in our program. But uh, this one feels great just because we have a whole whole new different type of group. Um, we came in with 47 freshmen. We didn't really know what to expect, but with the, with the leaders that we have, we we, have, we were able to get it done. So great feeling. Uh, Patrick, they came in with apparently a stout passing defense. You put up, I think, 70 yards or close to it on that first drive. What did that kind of do for your confidence going forward? Uh, it was definitely a confidence boost, especially being hearing that there was a good pass defense. So to be able to establish the pass early in the game, uh, I believe it kind of helped up the, uh, helped out the run game as well. So that was a plus. Uh, how big was special teams tonight for you guys? Man, uh, it's crazy. We've been struggling all year. <laughs> and, uh, we definitely made a huge step uh, on the special teams. Yeah, how nice was that to start drives at like midfield and Man, so much It's just the feeling of it offense, just know like we gotta take advantage of those opportunities. Uh, you don't want those opportunities to go to waste and we was able to do that and like I said, special teams made some huge plays. Um, you talk your senior, how special was just the senior day and also winning a championship on it was, it was awesome, uh, just experience it, experience with these guys, family and fr uh, fans. Um, it's just something we always talk about, uh, talked about being special and remember it, remembering this moment 20 years from now, coming back and being able to talk about it. So it's, man, it feels great. Mike, uh, defensively, you guys held them to 20 points, and you know they had that late touchdown. That's uh, even with that late touchdown, it's a couple touchdowns under what they would usually score. Uh, just what do you think of the defensive effort overall tonight? I think we all just stuck, stuck together the whole game. Uh, there were tons of times where it got kind of chippy, uh, a lot of personal fouls, but the group that was out there, we all kind of stuck together. Um, the coaches kept us in our place a little bit. They got a little mad uh, after a while. But we're, we're a solid group. We, we love each other, and we always have each other's backs. The ch speaking of personal fouls, you have the one that was, that, that was called after the first touchdown, and you have to, kick, you have to do the kickoff from the 20. What did, that, what did the recovery on that, uh, on that sweep kick do to the defensive move? Yeah, it was, um, we messed up, the, the <laughs> kickoff helped us out. And it, it's crazy how fast momentum can change, just with a little five-second play, and we got lucky. So, obviously, on the defensive end, how nice was it to uh, go from a tie game to a two-touchdown two lead going to, and not having to see Case Cook considering that whole time? Yeah, it was good. I mean, I felt like they were on fire a little bit. Their, their offense was getting in the groove. Their defense was, was playing well. And that right there, I think, just changed the whole game. They, they were, they got scared. Uh, I don't think they've been down very much this year, so they're not used to kind of coming back. Uh, so with us getting a really quick lead, it, it just gives us tons of confidence. So you won two years ago. You won it on a pretty. I think they had a hell mary to win it or to tie it. Uh -huh. um, this one was pretty thorough. Which one did you prefer more? Uh, this one. <laughs> this one for sure. Uh, I think 2015 was a little more fun, just more intense. Uh, but this one. With two minutes left, we started getting hyped on the sidelines. We, we knew we had done it. And with all the goals that we had set from NAU last year, it's just the feeling that we, we did it. We achieved all those goals, and it, it's, it's a great feeling. Yeah, Jay, did this give you kind of a chance to savor this moment a little bit with just this blowout in the whole second half? Uh, yeah, in a sense, I, this is my first championship. First time playing Division One football, and I, just, I was savoring it the whole time, uh, if I'm being honest. Uh, it was just a great feeling. Especially with the team, with all the seniors we have, they're such great guys. Uh, when I first came here, that was the first thing I noticed about this team is we have such a great family bond here. So I was just savoring it with them and my brothers, and it was probably one of the best moments of my life. Uh, Pat, what do you think the selection committee will do to you guys tomorrow? <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, it's just, I really, I really don't care too much anymore. It's like, you don't want to be disappointed. It's like, whatever happens, happens, we'll be ready with, with whatever it is. So I think that's what's kind of been pushing us. It's the fact that we know whoever we end up playing, whether it's this week or two weeks from now, we just got to be ready. It don't really matter if you ranked or not ranked. At the end of the day, come Saturday, you got to be ready to play. Um, I know Coach Warren has a lot of goals, and you guys have had a lot of goals. And it looks like weekly is like seven win season, eight, right. get eight wins, get a conference championship. What's now? What's on that top of the list? Uh, man, you know, just focus on one game at a time. We got to uh, focus on whichever team we get selected to play, and that's, that's the only game that's going to matter. From, from uh, here until we play them, nothing matters what we did before or what's uh, after. It's just us against them. You, you you ran in for a couple of scores. Jay ran in for a couple of scores. 
Is it, was it easier to run on them tonight today as opposed to pass on uh, them? We knew that uh, that their pass defense was uh, pretty good, and we knew that they uh, kind of lacked on uh, stopping the run. And somebody had stole my cleats, and I had to get new cleats, and I didn't like that pretty much. So I had to, they took care of me today. But uh, the line did a great job, like Jay said, uh, just uh, uh, blocking. It was just awesome all around. I mean, we had how many rushing touchdowns? About five. So. Hey, he, he, had th he had three, he had two. two so, yeah, exactly, so the credit to, all the credit goes to them. Actually, I think you had seven total. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, total through the air, did you? Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> that was a rushing craze.